I caught her red-handed. Look, all that matters now is that Shane is safe, and you and I are back together again. Oh my God. What? I totally forgot I have to work tonight. Colin's sick. I can't. Brody's off, unless you can't stay with Shane. It's okay. Uh, I, I will get the stem cells into cold storage, take Shane home, get him fed. You'll be there when I get home. Where else would I be? Then you'll wait up. Count on it. Have your keys? Yeah. Why the hell did you just team up with Stacy and risk your grandson's life? Oh my god. Oh my. Oh my god. <sighs> Going somewhere? Fuck up with that lion piece. Of just stop it, Roxy. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Stacy has been blackmailing Gigi for months threatening to let Shane die if Gigi didn't break up with me. What? Oh, no, that's terrible. <gasps> and you knew all about it. You helped her. Rex, wait, no, I swear I... No, no, don't. No, no swearing, no begging, no promising. It's over, Roxy. I know what Stacy did. She admitted it. What I don't get is why you helped her. Why did you help Stacy blow my family away to pieces? You look scared, Jeech. Yeah, I'm scared. Somebody just trashed my car. Oh, that's terrible. Now, why would anybody do such a thing? I don't know. Maybe because she's jealous and selfish and evil. I saw Rex first. What are you, six? You can't just do whatever you want and get away with it. Take Rex and just go back to your perfect little life? Perfect little life? Raising a kid for 10 years all alone? You lied to me. About what? You told me Shane was sick. He is sick. He has leukemia. It's in remission, and we want to keep it that way. Not that you care. You were willing to let your own nephew die so you could get your hooks into a man who can't even stomach you. He loves me. Oh, okay, right. You hang on to that, Stacy. Because now that we have the stem cells and Rex and Shane know just how sick you are, it's over. There's nothing left for you here. So why don't you do yourself a favor and get out of town before we press charges? If you think I'm just gonna crawl back to Vegas while you snuggle up with Rex, you are so wrong. You may have won the first round, sister. But I promise you, <laughs> the fun has only begun. Natalie, a liar. Your pal Kyle Lewis took Natalie and Jared to see Shane's real donor. He couldn't. Oh, because the donor's dead? Why are you in this up to your eyeballs, Rock? Listen, everything I did, I did for Shane. I even saved another bag of blood just in case he needed it. And I don't know who it was, but someone paid that psycho nurse to steal the blood. Is that it? I is that the blood? Stacy had it, didn't she? Oh, good. Oh, good. Then Shane's gonna be okay. You want to tell me why you've been lying to me all these weeks? 
Because I, I would have done anything for Shane, anything at all. If he wanted my heart, I would have just cut it out and given it to him. I just, I felt bad because I wasn't a match. But you knew somebody who was. Yes, I did, and I wanted to tell you, but then Stacy came to me, and she said she wanted to be the hero, and I thought, well, you know, maybe it's okay. What harm would that do? I didn't know she would try to bust you up. Okay, and when you found out, why didn't you tell me that Stacy wasn't the real donor? I, I couldn't because it was too late and she was blackmailing me. With what? The name? Whose name? The donors! The donor is dead! Who was it, Roxy? Who saved my son's life? You need help. I need Rex. Well, then you're in big trouble, because you're never going to get him. We'll see about that. You honestly think that you have a chance with Rex after threatening his son's life? He knows I would never let anything happen to Shane. No, I don't think he does know that, Stacy. And I can tell you for a fact that he hates you for what you've done. Well, he'll get over it. And when he does, you better look out, Cheech. Because when he's tired of eating burgers in front of the TV and five minutes of straight-up sex before you strap on your little waitress uniform and head out the door, he'll come back to me. Because if there's one thing I know for a fact, it's that when a man has a taste of what I have to offer, he always comes back. <laughs> Funny. You! I think that you're actually starting to believe your fantasies. That story about Rex having you on the floor of Ultraviolet, that's about as true as what I said about me and Brody. Well, I don't know what you and Brody got up to, but Rex and I shook the roof in your dreams. Oh, I do dream about him every night. And that's as close as you'll ever get. Yeah, keep telling yourself that. I know what I know. It never happened, Stacy. Rex told me you're lying. And you believe him? Over you? just proves my point if a man's gonna lie and be dishonest about what he's got going on with another woman it's not over why are you doing this to yourself you need to face the facts that's your problem your dream life your your perfect family that's your fantasy Rex is bored he wants me now you see yourself as this goddess but you're nothing but a tramp, Stacy. Men run through you like traffic through a tunnel. Well, listen up, Miss Homemaker. You may bake a perfect muffin, but that's as far as it goes, and you know that. When was the last time that Rex asked you for anything more than a hug? When did he tear your clothes off because he just couldn't wait to have you? I had to walk home in just my coat because he ripped my clothes into shreds. You're lying. Well, I'd be happy to give you a blow-by-blow. Blow. Oh. 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 One Life to Live will continue in a moment here on ABC.